So, something amazing happened today. Nancy Pelosi went to the country of Taiwan. That's right, the country of Taiwan. I say the country of Taiwan and make that such a specific effort because there are shills out there, people out there, Chinese nationalists that believe that Taiwan is not a country. They think that even though Taiwan has a flag, even though they have a government and military and land and they have, have their, their, their own food and their own society and culture and dreams and convictions that somehow they're not their own country. And Nancy Pelosi went there. Now, again, I'm not a huge supporter of Nancy Pelosi. I, I, I don't support her politically usually. But this is something that has needed to have been done. You see, China has gotten more and more dangerous. And that's, that's something that I have been speaking out against. Is China is making threats now more than ever. And for China to say that they will shoot down an airplane with an American politician, that is an extreme. That is a very dangerous thing to say. That is a very dangerous thing, of course, to do. And the simple fact that a country would even try to make such a threat is at best, just incredibly dark. And this is needed. It is needed that politicians stop playing into China's way, to stop listening to the threats, to start going places and doing things regardless of what the Chinese government says. The Chinese government is not the honest government in the world. Now, I know that no government is perfect, but the Chinese government is on the opposite spectrum of doing anything good for anyone. Anything that they do that seems like they're doing out of the kindness of their heart, the goodness, is always the opposite. The expansions, the Belt and Road, these buildings that they're putting in places, these, all of this stuff, it's always been bad. It's always going to be bad and, and you know, into the future. That's why it's important that politicians, that countries continue to let China know that you can't boss them around, that you can't just threaten any time you don't like something. You see, it's different when the country of China, the Chinese government threatens German people or the Chinese government threatens French people or American people or Australians or British people. It's different, right? When they threaten their own people, it's terrible enough. But to think that you can threaten the rest of the world is another thing entirely. You see, when you look at the history, China is actually today's modern-day imperialist country. China is more dangerous than ever. And that's exactly what it is. China is practicing its imperialism. They're saying, hey, you can't go to Taiwan. You can't call Taiwan a country. Whether you're a business, a person, a government, an establishment, a, a you know, whatever you may be. Oh, you're a uh, nonprofit organization. Well, if you call Taiwan a country, then we're going to out you. You can't go into the media and call Taiwan a country. None of that is allowed. And again, the world cannot accept that. The world must push back because it is important that China understands that the entire world is not going to conform to its sick, sadistic idea of communism and that the world is not going to lay down and just behave in the way that the communists want. It hasn't in the past, and it won't in the future. And it is imperative that countries show that we're going 
to go through the waters around these countries. That we're going to Taiwan if we want to go to Taiwan. That if we want to trade with someone like Vietnam, we're going to trade with someone like Vietnam. That if we want to trade or send weapons to Taiwan, that we're going to send weapons to Taiwan. If we want to hang out and have coconut drinks on the beach in Taiwan, that Xi Jinping is not going to tell us any different. Because that's not what the world is about. That's not sharing the world. That's not, you know, that's, that's not how the world works today. When you look at how the world works today, the only country that really doesn't seem to get it is pretty much China, Russia, maybe North Korea. Those are pretty much the only countries that don't get it. I may be forgetting something, maybe one, maybe two, but most of the countries get it. We don't always get along with Germany or France or Spain or whoever it may be. We don't always get along, but we coexist. And that is something that China does not want. China does not want to coexist with America. China does not want to coexist with India or Vietnam or Taiwan. China doesn't want to coexist with Britain. They don't want to coexist with these countries, these cultures, these people. China wants to rule and control it all. And that is why we must tell China no and go to Taiwan and do those things, even when China doesn't like it. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.